New tonight, dozens of Wake County High School seniors are taking steps to address the ongoing teacher shortage. They have teaching jobs lined up for them in the district as soon as they get out of college. WRL's Aaron Thomas joins us live now to explain how this program in the state's largest school system works. Aaron? Yeah, Lena, think of this as a teacher pipeline. As soon as these students graduate from high school, they'll pack up for college and receive all the training they need over the next four years while they're in college, ensuring that they'll come back to the Wake County School District to teach the next generation of students. This room is filled with more than 30 future educators in Wake County. One of them, Josiah McKinney, who inked the deal ahead of graduating high school. What made you want to go into the teaching industry? It's something about sharing my knowledge that I have about anything with anybody else, whether that be children, adults. McKinney is now part of the Future Teachers Program cohort. Over the next four years, she and other graduating seniors will receive four different week-long professional learning opportunities during summer break in college. You know, this is an example of a pipeline. Dr. A.G. Mutillo with the school district says the program aims to tackle the ongoing teacher shortage. It's something we've been facing um, even prior to the pandemic. One of the reasons we started it back in 2015. The latest vacancies sit at more than 300 openings across the school district. That's down from more than 400 vacancies weeks into the start of the school year. The number of vacancies fluctuated from the height of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2021 to the end of winter break in 2022. I'm looking forward to the placement. Eager student Isaiah Johnson looks forward to entering the profession as other educators exit due to pandemic burnout, pay, and workload. It's less money, sure, but at the same time, I get to have fun and teach kids and pass on knowledge to them. Best of luck to those students. Now, other counties are taking this uh, teacher shortage matter very seriously. You have uh, places like Guilford County and Charlotte Mecklenburg uh, schools that also have similar programs. Edgecombe County schools will even offer a scholarship to any students that are pursuing education while they're in college and will return to teach in that county. Lena? And we have reported on issues of having diverse teachers as well, so I know they are hoping that this program can help put a dent in that issue as well. Aaron Thomas reporting live for us. Thank you.